Together, let's embark on a scientific exploration of yoga, where you are the scientist. Your heart is the laboratory, and you are the outcome. Welcome to Meditate with Daji. Over the last few episodes, Daji has guided us through a fascinating journey. He has talked to us about various experiences that we often go through in life. He has also shared how to make the most of those experiences and how to face difficult circumstances. Today, Daji will talk about something that many of us believe is the center of our lives. It is pleasures and the pursuit of them. We all want a joyful and pleasure-filled life. We go to great lengths in the pursuit of pleasure. But what exactly makes some things pleasurable and others not so much? Often, when we experience something that we don't find pleasurable, we also experience its side effects, disappointment, despair, and sadness. To understand this better, we must first understand what is going on physically in our bodies when we experience something that we call pleasurable. Let's watch this film in which Daji explores pleasures and our pursuit of them. Pleasures. Who wouldn't like to have pleasures every moment? But beware, it is its downside also. Pleasure stimuli are linked to the brain's reward system, and this incentivizes the repetition. You want to repeat this thing again and again, and the pursuit of a stimulus becomes compulsive. We call it addiction. By then, we have already lost personal control. We stand to lose much more. Sometimes we hear people suggesting dopamine fasting as a tool to get over our addiction to pleasures. Dopamine is a buzzword these days. But what is it? Dopamine is a chemical which is involved in many aspects of behavior, including the reward mechanism. The concept of dopamine fasting comes from the fact that repeated pleasure stimulus makes us crave for more pleasures and leads us into vicious cycle. Dopamine fasting has nothing to do with the levels of dopamine within the brain or about fasting in a conventional sense. It is simply to take a break from these excessive pleasure-seeking behaviors and restore normalcy to our lives. Part of the mind would say, oh, I don't want to avoid pleasures. Am I succumbing to pain? Not at all. We don't want to have too much of it and we don't have too little of it. We need to create some level of moderation. When you are in such a state of high, we lose the faculty of discrimination. We are unable to discriminate between right and wrong. We fail to understand not only the feelings of pain, but the reasons behind this pain. We lose the perspective of things, reality in life. When we have to undergo this dopamine fast, what do we have to really do during that period? We moderate our lifestyle and minimize the bombardment of sensory overload. Stay home, be more contemplative, introspective. During this fast, we will be able to feel what has caused this pain, how to combat this pain. Having gone through this fast, dopamine fast, we are able to become the master of our own life. Avoiding excesses will teach us newer things in life, greater than pleasures. There are greater than joys. We have yet to experience where the bliss lies in life. And now, as always, let's meditate with Daji.
So, if you are all comfortable, sit in comfortable posture as you like. Please gently close your eyes. Now, wiggle your toes if you can. Pay your attention towards your feet. Feel the energy arising from Mother Earth and entering your system through feet. Imagine that it is entering and helping you relax your feet, your ankle, your lower feet, calf muscles and your knees. Let this energy move upward. The thigh be relaxed. The hips. Let this energy move upward to your lower back. Let this area be relaxed. Let it travel upward all the way to your shoulders. Let the entire back be relaxed. Now, imagine that energy is entering and helping you relax in the abdominal area. Your chest area. Feel how the shoulders are melting away. Let this energy descend to your upper arms, your elbow, lower arms, palms and your fingertips. Feel the body from neck down to your feet is relaxed now. Let this energy move your neck muscles. See how they are relaxing now. Let this energy move upward further your facial muscles, so your eyelids are completely relaxed, eyebrows, your forehead, nose, your lips, Your ear lobes, and the crown of your head. You see now, the whole energy is now invigorating around the whole system from top to toe. Now, 
gently focus your attention towards the heart and imagine that the light the source of divine light is already present in your heart which is pulling your attraction inward while you have this idea in your mind please don't exert yourself so much be very gentle if thoughts do arise simply remind yourself that you are meditating on the presence of this source of divine light which is already present in the heart i'll be transmitting to you this prana hoti most of you will be able to feel this presence and you'll be able to appreciate the outcome of this session please continue with this meditation for half hour when it is over i'll announce that's all
That's all. Please make a note of how you felt. Let's write our observations. 